Good morning, my dear students. I hope all of you are doing well. Today we will do page number one forty six of chapter twelve, that is data handling. In this page number one, data is given. There are fifty students in a class. The all the students of the class are distributed among five groups. According to their heights, their heights are measured in centimeter. So, data is given in your book. You have to observe the data, and according to the data, you have to answer the question given. So, let us see the question. This is the data given in your book. There are five groups: one, A, B, C, D, E. And height of the students are given: ninety-eight centimeter, one hundred seven centimeter, ninety-six centimeter, one hundred ten centimeter, and ninety-nine centimeter. So, question number A is: There are dash groups in which the height of children is more than hundred centimeter. Means, how many groups where students' height is more than hundred centimeter? So more than hundred centimeter is one hundred seven and one hundred ten. Two groups B and D are there where the height of students are more than hundred centimeter. So we will fill two here. Now in B, how many groups have students whose height is less than hundred centimeter? Now less than hundred centimeter. Ninety eight is less than hundred. Ninety six is less than hundred, and ninety nine is less than hundred. So we have three groups where the height of students is less than one hundred. So we will fill three in question number B. Now in C, how many groups have students whose height is more than ninety five cm but less than one hundred? More than ninety five and less than one hundred. Ninety eight is more than ninety five and less than one hundred. Ninety six is more than ninety five and less than one hundred. And ninety nine is more than ninety five and less than one hundred. So we have three groups where their heights are more than ninety five and less than one hundred. Now in question number D. Height of students in group B is dash more than that of students in group C. Means height of students in group B is how much less or more than height of students in group C. So what we will do? We will subtract height of students one hundred uh, group. P one hundred seven and height of students of group C is ninety six. So we will subtract one hundred seven and ninety six together. We will have eleven. So it means height of group students in group B is eleven centimeter more than height of students of group C. Now E students of which group have maximum height? Maximum number is one hundred ten. This is D group, so height of group D students is maximum in height. Now height of students does have minimum height. Which number is minimum? Ninety six. So it means height of group C students are minimum in number. Minimum number of height is group C. So that's all for today. In next class, we will see next question. Thank you. Bye.